Hey, this is Jason with 4W Knives. Uh, in this video, I take a piece of cable and forge weld it together. Uh, I use a little different method than a lot of people uh, using a air over hydraulic uh, press that I made, which I explained in the video. Uh, I had some complications with it. Um, didn't follow some steps, which I explain in it. Uh, I do not get a knife on this video, uh, but I do come up with a forge welded billet at the end, and then I make a knife out of that billet in a later video. I just want to make sure you do what you rent for. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Maybe you pick up something that I do that you can add to yours. Thanks. Just to show you what's going on here, I've got a couple of rounding dies. Um, this is an air over hydraulic press that I made. Uh, it's nothing fancy. I've got a video under Jason Wilson on it. Um, it's not very fast, but it, it does a pretty good job. <clears throat> this is what I'll do is I'll weld the ends, twist it, and then I'll weld the whole thing using the I die and then I'll use my bigger press to uh, flatten it and lengthen it out. forge weld on the cable uh, it seems to be pretty solid we've got a couple of the little runs where the uh, wires didn't quite mesh but that's normal or at least in my experience it's normal uh, I would not have to cut and forge what reforge weld but I'm going to do that it seems to get rid of some of those whenever I do uh, so I'm going to cut this into four sections and forge weld uh, two of them together to make another billet that I'll do a kind of
kind of a cable Damascus sand my with. So here are my four pieces. They didn't clean up as well as I'd hoped. Uh, I couldn't get rid of all of the little, uh, I don't know, cold shuts or I don't know what they're called, but uh, the little imperfections. I think where I messed up is uh, after I welded the ends, I should have opened that cable up and shook a bunch of the crud out uh, and I forgot that part. I've done it both ways, but it seems to be better whenever I do it that way. Uh, it's just been a long time since I've done cable and didn't think about it. But uh, being a sand my, maybe go my, I don't think it'll be a big deal. I think I can get rid of a lot of that. So I'm going to clean them, uh, tack them together, put a handle on, forge weld them together. I won't show any of that. Uh, I'll show you once I get it ready to make a sand my with. Got it all cleaned up. Um, this is the cable Damascus here. I've got two pieces at five inches long. They're a little over an inch wide. I'm going to have two pieces of 1075 for my core. So I will go uh, cable Damascus, nickel, two layers of 1075, another layer of nickel, and then the cable Damascus. Uh, I need to go in, get them all cleaned up really good on the grinder. I'll tack it together, put a handle on it, forge weld it all together, stretch it out, and uh, go from there. point in the video I lost uh, the next clip where I showed the finished billet uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video uh, but there is going to be a part two where I'm able to salvage a portion of it to make a small EDC knife uh, check it out